Right now, authorities in East Point are looking for answers as they try to identify a young girl who was found dead outside a vacant home. Police released this sketch. We want you to take a good look at your screen right now. Let's see if we can get her identified. They believe she is in her teens. An autopsy determined she died from blunt force trauma. Her body was found at this home on Ben Hill Road, just down the street from the fire department. She was wearing a necklace with 2005 on it and an anklet with the word winks on it. Please call East Point Police if you have any information that can help identify her. Police say they have now identified a person of interest linked to the death of a teenage girl. Ones have identified a teenager beaten to death and dumped next to a vacant house. East Point police found the teen's beaten body nearly two months ago, and right now they're still trying to find her killer. Fox 5's Brian Hill explains how the teen's parents learned of her murder. East Point police are relieved to have solved one part of this disturbing case. They tell us that 16 year old was not from Metro Atlanta, and right now they're still trying to piece together exactly how she ended up dead miles away from home. The family was distraught when they learned that their child was uh, deceased. East Point police credits this sketch with helping them finally put a name to a disturbing murder that shocked their city. A friend of the family reached out to them and said, hey, I saw a sketch closely resembles your daughter. So we just you need to contact the police and just verify if this is her or not. Investigators say the girl's family lives outside of Metro Atlanta. On Friday, they drove down to meet with East Point police and positively identified this young girl. It was great news to the entire department as well as the community. It's just we're just one step closer to not only bringing closure to this case, but hopefully to the family as well. Just after midnight on February 12th, police found the teen's beaten body beside a vacant house here on Ben Hill Road near Washington Road. Detectives tell us she was reported missing shortly before her body was found. At the family's request, police aren't releasing the girl's name at this time. She wasn't abducted, however, you know, we, we're still trying to figure, we're trying to piece this puzzle together. So we're just uh, speaking with the family as well as, it, you know, all the leads that come in. So we're just trying to piece this like, how did she go from here to here? An autopsy determined the girl died from blunt force trauma. Detectives are still searching for her killer and say one of the most challenging aspects of this case is that they don't know where the attack happened. This remains a very active investigation and police are still trying to find that girl's killer. Tonight, East Point police are asking for the public's help finding a person of interest after a teenage girl was beaten to death. Our Joe Hankey is in East Point with what we know so far about the person police want to interview. We've been in touch with East Point police behind me today to learn more about the young man they released a name and photo of. And at this point, they simply want to interview him. That man is seen here. This is Jamarcus McCrary. Police are searching for him as they continue to investigate how the body of a 16 year old girl ended up outside this vacant home on Ben Hill Road back in February. Police have only named McCrary as a person of interest in this case, not a suspect. And we searched court records today for Fulton, DeKalb, Cobb, Gwinnett, and several other metro counties and did not find any criminal history for anyone with that name. Police have not publicly released the victim's name, but say her parents came forward and identified her in April and asked that they not share her name. Police have said she died from blunt force trauma and her death is being considered a homicide. And since early this morning, we've been trying to interview East Point detectives to ask how is McCrary connected to this case and the victim, but so far they've not been available.